everyone, this is Megan, one of the naturalists here from Beaver Creek Reserve. I'm so excited to share with you because I'm going on a hike today. Well, it's just not a normal hike, it's actually a spring ephemeral hike, basically meaning that I'm going on a spring flower hike. Ephemeral means just short lasting, so a lot of these flowers that we have outside right now only live for about through April through May, so they won't be out here too long. And that's because um, outside right now, all the trees that we have here, they haven't grown their leaves yet. And so that gives the flowers a chance to grow and use the sun that they need. And so today we're going to be going and we're going to go out and identify some of these flowers that we have here on the forest floor at my local state park. And so if you want to stay tuned and see more flowers, stay with me. So here we have our first spring ephemeral on our hike today. And this is a really unique flower with a unique name. This flower is called bloodroot. And now let's take a closer look at bloodroot. We have very bright white petals with a yellow center. We have a thin, medium sized stem. And we also have some leaves that wrap around our flower. Now remember, this is a really interesting flower because of its name, bloodroot. Well, it, how, how it gets its name is basically when you pick this flower, a red orange sap or juice kind of comes out of this flower. And this juice is actually made out of latex. So if you are allergic to latex, do not pick this flower. And that sap is actually poisonous too. So don't eat this flower either. I picked this flower and show you, but I'm at my local state park today and it's not allowed to be picking flowers. So I am just going to view with my eyes and see how beautiful this flower is. So here we have bloodroot. Hey everyone, here we are, have our next spring ephemeral. And this one's a pretty interesting one. It's very unique. This one's called Dutchman's Breeches. As we said, this is a very unique flower. It has multiple flowers on one stem. Now these flowers can range from being pink, white, or kind of right in between. They also have a pretty fern-like leaf with them, what makes them really cool. What kind of gives the, the Dutchman's Breeches its name is as you look close, what do you think these flowers look like? Well, if you turn your camera upside down or your screen upside down, they kind of look like upside down pants and that's what they get their name from. So these flowers can be found kind of almost anywhere on the forest floor. They like to get their feet wet, so they're gonna be in areas with really moist or wet soil. So keep an eye out for Dutchman's Breeches and we're gonna continue our flower walk. So here is our next spring ephemeral and this one is called White Trout Lily. So let's take a closer look at white trout lily. Here's our white flower with our white petals and our yellow center. It's pointed downward with our thin, tall, and smooth stem. We also have two leaves coming out from the base and these leaves are pretty speckled with two different colors. So the way trout li lily gets its name is if we take a look at the leaves. Remember, we said they're speckled. So these leaves are supposed to resemble brown trout and they're speckling on their body. So I want you to take a peek. Does it look like brown trout speckles? These flowers really like to be in part shade or mostly shade. They also like to be in a wet forest floor. They like to get their feet wet like the other flowers we've been talking about. And they're also spread all along the forest. So let's take a look and see if we can find some. So remember, this is white trout lily. <laughs> So here is our next spring flower. And this flower is called Hepatica. So for me, this is actually one of the first flowers that I normally see when I'm going for my spring flower hikes. 
So this flower, as you can see, this one is kind of a, has a purpley blue tint, but they can range from multiple different colors, including white, blue, purple, pink. And what makes them so wonderful is that they have this fresh scent that reminds us of spring. So this is, like I said, one of the ones that first reminds me of spring when I go outside. Each flower has its own stem. As you can see, this stem has lots of little hairs on it. So that gives us another way we can identify this flower. This one opens on sunny days. And so for instance, today is a beautiful day out. And so I knew these flowers would be outside today. If you take a look at the leaves, they're almost heart-shaped, and so that gives us another clue when finding this flower. And so this one is Hepatica. So here we have our last spring ephemeral on our hike today. And I've kind of saved the best for last because this is my favorite spring flower. This flower is called Virginia Bluebells, and so I want you to take a peek and maybe see why they're called that. So if you can see, they are pretty bright blue. It's kind of hard to see in the video, but the flowers are also shaped like bells, which makes them just so beautiful and unique. So let's take a look at these little smaller flowers. These smaller flowers is kind of where it gets its start. They're almost purpley pink. The flower will then transition, start to open up and become more of a bright blue of what we're seeing right now. Virginia bluebells really like a rich, well-drained soil. So basically on the forest floor, maybe near another um, stream or river. So let's look around if we are in forest floor. And kind of back here is a stream. So another way we identify these flowers is their oval leaves, as you can kind of see. They're oval green leaves. Now remember, I said this is my favorite flower. And the reason why is when these flowers are in full bloom, which here I would say in the next week or so, they coat the forest floor in a blue color, which to me looks like water is flowing through here. But it's actually not. It's actually these flowers in full bloom just looking so beautiful. Hey everyone, thanks for joining me on my spring ephemeral hike looking for our spring flowers out here and showing you a couple of my favorites. Now I want all of you to go outside and look for these spring ephemerals. Tell us what you find. Just remember, please don't pick the flowers because we want everyone to be able to enjoy the beauty just like you are. And have fun looking for flowers. Thank you.